What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Crashlands. I am Splattercat and I will be your guide as we hang out today trying to sab some stuff in the face. Did I say sab some stuff? Stab some stuff? Eh, who needs consonants? It's okay, you can bring them along when you want to, you can leave them out when you don't feel like it. In the previous episode, we had actually made decent progress. For an episode that was filmed by me, we had made pretty decent progress with regards to like our main quest and our side quests. I think our next plan is to go down to Old Jarnals. We'll keep an eye out for the random Wampets we're supposed to be hunting while we're down there. But I want to stay on the storyline here. There's lots of stuff for us to work on, but we've used most of the resources that are right next to our base. And so it does us pretty good for the pockets when we're out just, you know, killing stuff, having a good time, and otherwise completing quests in areas where we wouldn't be if it weren't for the random narrative that keeps pointing us all over the place. We stocked up on sticky bombs. Should be pretty cool. I've never used one before. So, oh my god, that was amazing. That was really, really enjoyable. Far more enjoyable than I expected. Oh, there's a silver wampet over here, too. I wonder if how many of those silver wampet essences I need. Oh, shit. Yeah, I figured I was gonna get stomped right there. I could feel the stomping come. Oh, I knocked you out of the air. Knocked you out of the air because that's how we do it at the nerd. Ah, I'm gonna get you with a sticky bomb. They don't really seem to stick. They actually just seem to be like proximity bombs or something. There's a little bit of damage to be dealt. I could really use a drain right about now. That would actually be precisely the. Re I'm gonna eat one of my little thingies right now so that if I get stomped on, I don't die. Come on. Fill on up. Cause my health's low and it hurts when you stomp me. Please stop shopping me. Hurts my face. Hurts my face. So it looks like you just get Wampet Essences from them. I don't know what that accomplishes for me, but I assume we're going to need it later for maybe infusing gear or something like that. It's one of the first ones that we've seen that had that color of a tooltip, so I figure it'll more than likely be useful at some point. Let's blow those up real quick while we're on our way out here. I do want that random little weed thing, too. I'm going to keep eating these. It looks like they're not spammable. So unfortunately we can't pull a Diablo right there and just like throw a whole bunch of random bacon weeds down our gullet and hope for the best. We've actually got to ride this out slow-mo style and it's got a cooldown, which means we can't just like be like blah 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 and refill everything. I already said that, so I guess I'll be a little redundant. We are now glowing. Let's keep going down to the hermitage, although it looks like there's a teleporter over here. Do I gotta build a bridge to it, or is there a way to access said teleporter? And also, why is the teleporter, why is that one a different color? Hold on, this one's a different color! We must probe it, unless it's actually still. oh, it's a flat stone, okay. I thought it looked a little bit more yellowish than the previous ones that we destroyed, but I could be wrong. You know what I've been playing? Oh my god. Last couple days I've been playing the 2012 reboot of Double Dragon. That game is so much fun. Ridiculous, like crafting your mixtape so that you can punch stuff better. I don't like, the only thing I don't like so far is how a Bobo isn't a boss, he's just like a random mob. But other than that, I'm having a pretty good time with it. I'm having a pretty good time. I saw the ludicrous review that IGN put up for it, and I was like, surely this game cannot be a 3 out of 10. And I know, don't call me Shirley. Somebody's gonna say it in the comments, so I might as well head it off at the pass right now. So is the bacon weed better or worse? Like, what does the Sunshroom do? 149? Oh, those do way more. I want Sunshroom, then. Sunshroom seems like it works a little bit better. Yeah, give me all those Sunshrooms right there. I don't know if I can... Oh, I got a pickaxe that? What is it? A bump berry. And apparently, if you want to bump that berry, you got to get yourself a pickaxe. Otherwise, it just won't function. Is that one of the Silver Glidopi? I don't want to mess with Silver Glidopi. We can barely handle the Silver Wampet, so it's probably a better plan for us just to walk away for right now. Just be like, that's your corner of the yard, this is my corner of the yard. You stay over there, I stay over there, nobody gets any damage. This is seeming like one of those mutually assured destruction type deals. A couple more glowy guys over here, but I need this stone. We haven't crafted like anything with stone yet, and so unfortunately... Ugh! There we go. Let me get this Glidopus down. I don't know if I should be wasting bombs on the Glidopus. A tough little guy to get hits off on. Oh, and I misclicked. There we go. That was the big DPS right there. Bringing them big dank deepity derps. What did we just get? A Glidopus ink. Okay. I think we already had one of those. We got a beak too, but I don't know what we're going to use that for. Probably a helmet or something. I do hope our next helmet has a beak. That would make me pretty happy. The beaky helm. Where are we right now? Old Jarnal's Hermitage. Ugh. No! Please leave me alone. 
Leave me alone. Just run away real fast and hope that nothing hurts me. We need a better saw. So it looks like we're at the end of our tier right now. I don't see Orjarnal around anywhere. I assume he's probably got a house up there saucy. I hit saucy with a bomba. And then stun saucy too. And then hit saucy with another bomba. The more DPS I can do right at the outset, the better the chances I'll survive because I won't get stomped. Given enough time, I will inevitably screw up the strategy and get stomped. Or I'll get greedy. That's my biggest issue is just getting greedy. I don't imagine how that Tendram thought that one bomb was going to stop this thing. I hit it with a wrench, though. There we go. We did it! Saucy would go well with some spaghetti. Mmm, spaghetti. Don't remind me of that Bureau Cafeteria food juice box. You don't want to see me when I'm hungry. Let's head back to Power Pole and tell Ollie what's come of Saucy. Maybe he'll have some spaghetti for you. Spaghetti is pretty good. If you don't like biscotti, I don't know. I don't know how we can actually compromise as human beings and come together. We definitely can't work together. Who is this? Is this our dude? Ah, it's our dude. Excuse us, are you old journal? Ah, uh, yay! Yep, that's me. What's the two to fly like you doing as far south? Hee hoo! We heard you might know a thing or two about the bacon weed fairy. Hee hoo! Uh, yep, I know a thing or seven about the beast. Be I know a thing or seven about the beauty of the beast. Granted, my wishes she did. But you still have teeth. I stole a new one from one of them wampers. Hee! What's that rumbling? Looks like they're coming for some tooty vengeance, ho hee! Protect old Jarnal and I'll tell you all I know. Oh, shit balls! Oh my god. No! Oh good, it does AoE damage. It does AoE damage. There's so many Glidify on us, though. Uh, get him! Get him, Piggle Pal! Piggle Pal is the only way we're gonna survive this. Piggle Pal! Work faster! Damn it, Piggle Pal, you missed! Oh, the Glidopus does not appear to be affected by that particular brand of vengeance. Oh my god, there's so many of them! We might have a we might have a serious issue here. Why is this Glidopus so dead set on messing with me? Here, I gotta get that Glidopus off me. If I can get the Glidopus off me, we're good. Ooh, knocked out. And there it is. Got that sinew, got a little bit of leather. We're looking solid right now. I'm glad that our backpack is once again plumping. Good enough. Hey, old old Yana lives another day. Trade's a trade. How do we contact this bacon weed fairy? Hmm, you gotta prove your allegiance to the great herb first. I think I've more than done that. All right, Journal, what do we do? Somewhere southeast of here is a fairy ring of log trees. Bring a real big one. And a set a lot of big, lovely mega weed. It has been imperiled by two big... <laughs> imperiled? It has been imperiled by two big old wampus. Destroy them in the name of the fairy and her beauty, and I will tell you where you may find her. I will meet you there to oversee your work. Hey, okay. So it appears as though the fairy ring is way the hell down here. It's a violent thing, the fairy ring. You gotta watch out for it. When those fairies start arranging themselves in rings and cartels, life gets hard for all of the people in the neighborhood, for all of the people in the Shire. The goblin fairy's ring was one which would destroy and cause their lives much heartache. I need as many of these little things as I can because I need to heal. It kind of worries me once they start being like tons of colors like that because some of the ones that are like red and green tend to be a lot worse. They tend to be a little bit more violent and difficult to deal with. I'm going to pick up that right there because I want it. What is this over here? You need a better saw. So I guess I need a saw in order to pick a flower. That's cool. Whatever. I want to pick that flower anyways. That flower did not look attractive or sexy to me in any way. Not even a sing- Oh, I stepped on a platypus again. I stepped in platypus. When was the last time you stepped in platypus? See? Someday if you can step in platypus more frequently, you can be like me, the Splattercat, and have a YouTube channel where you discuss the finer merits of stepping in platypus. Good job, Stompy. Well done. I'm gonna call him Stompy for a little while. We got some gravel right there, which is really just kind of like the fancy $20 a bag version of gravel. They keep it at Whole Foods. They're like, no, you've never tried gravel until you've had gravel. And I'm like, okay. 
Gravel sounds pretty sweet. Can I just have that so I can leave now? I feel like I'm losing money by standing inside this store. My wallet has been screaming at the top of its lungs since I walked in. Like, I came through the door and it just started yeah! losing its shit. Whole Foods is hella expensive. Oh my god. Whole Foods, Nugget Market, all those random places. Where the food is the exact same bottle of Ruffles you get anywhere else. And yet for some reason- Oh man, that Glidopus is hardcore. Okay. That Glidopus ain't taking no shit. Never mind, I don't want to fight you anymore. Your large, beady, blood-red eyes have terrified me, and I no longer desire conflict with you. For you have proven that you are the great victor. Oh look, there's a ring over here. What is this? Should I be here? He's got a bunch of silver wampets with him. I don't really want to deal with silver wampets. I do want this stone though. We don't have hardly any stone. That's like one of the resources we have none of. And so I want to get many, many more. So where am I supposed to be? The fairy ring. Is this the fairy ring right here? Oh, that's what's his name. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to do this. The, I'm going to have to do this the nasty way. I do want all this wood, though. If I could get a wood... What the shit is that? Holy hell. He's got, like, the power of the mustache. His teeth are black, but it made it look like he had a super badass mustache. And so I got really, really worried that he was going to dispense 1970s stomp justice on us. I got concerned briefly. How's it going, Gladipus? What is this? Something that I apparently cannot gather. Man, I love stone. Stone is awesome. I'm always a miner. Like, in every game that I play, I always end up mining. Alright, so we probably want to fight one of these little silver pricks. Oh, shit. Alright, well, what I was going to say is we, want, we probably want to fight them one at a time. But seeing as the plan has failed here... I'm just going to throw bombs at him until one of them falls over. Kind of just wait for openings. I think the Glidopus is probably the best first target. Ow. Yeah, I knew I was going to catch at least one during that fight. Knew I was going to catch at least one. It's okay, though. That health drain turns out to be pretty useful for me. Still no proc on our turbo attacks yet. I'm still waiting for berserk mode. That tends to be when we get rid of enemies the quickest. Eh. Ooh, he got me for 192? Jesus. That's a pretty big hit. Let's go ahead and eat one of our little plants right now and see if we can get some health back. Alright, let's do this thing, heifer! I have the opportunity to call something a heifer, and so I figured I'd go for it. How often in life do you get to call somebody a heifer? Not very often. Not very often, I'd wager. That was a little jump right there. That was shenanigans. That was more of a bunny hop than anything else. He's gonna double jump soon. I just don't know when, and I was gonna try and stun it before it happened, but... There it is. Technically, I did stun him before it happened, while we're on the subject. My chronology here is not out of line. Woohoo! Two more mouthfuls of tea for the fairy! Alright, Jono, the ring is safe. Where's the fairy? Whee! One last down to prove yourselves worth. The Baker Wheat Fairy and all her beauty will only talk to one whose body is sturdy and whose mind is sharp. So how do we prove that? A pilgrimage. Far southwest from your crash space house lies a square lake with a square island inside. On that island sits a square of stone, one bacon weed flower. Find the island and follow the direction of the flower. Follow the flower? Yep. Then you'll stumble across the big lake. There I'll meet you in the middle, and the beauty of the bacon weed fairy you shall see. Flux, I'm getting some weird energy readings on old journal here. Make sure you're prepared for meeting the fairy. Maybe I should make some stone weaponry or something before we go fight this guy. Like some stone armor. I kind of want to know what this is over here, though. I feel like this is a bad plan, but I'm going to do it anyways. It's a Womp Lord? Nope, I can't hurt it. The Womp Lord cometh and is stronger than I. We're running away. Flee! Run away! Sound forth the Horn of Retreat. It sounds sad. I just figured the Horn of Retreat would just be like, like just kind of a meh type sound because you don't want to fight anymore. Like, the Horn of Retreat is not a valiant sound. Can I teleport from anywhere? Like, even in combat? Because if I can't... Wow, we are really far south right now. 
Like, we are out there. It's a good thing that teleportation exists within the confines. That looked like Mickey Mouse ears for a second when we teleported. Fueled by the power of the Dark Mouse, we project ourselves back. Back to our base. We have 12 dirt right now. That's pretty sweet. I think I'll probably craft that into some farming supplies in just a moment. Make some fertile dirt out of it. And then secondly, now that we've got our fertile dirt, how do I make, do I make it here? It appears as though I create a stone shaper using the skinnery. All right. Not the, not the crafting device I would have thought that would have made what it made, but you know what? I don't care. It's fine. Not going to worry about it. There's nothing to complain about here. Everything's going to be fine. I know it. So what happens? Rubbing this sack all over your face should cure what ails you. Grants a 20% poison damage resistance. We need four glue in order to make that work. And then... After spending so much time around wampets, you'll be able to perfectly recreate a wampet using your skills of taxidermy. Okay. I guess I'll render a couple of wampet nails or something. Station assembled! Oh, we can make gear out of stone. We can also, it looks like we can make a cod piece out of stone, which is sort of an interesting gambit, but we'll try that out next. Let's go ahead and we'll get that crafting while we play around with the other stuff. So if I go into build mode here, oh, look at that. It, like, works while you're, huh, I never noticed. Okay, well, we got plenty of wood, so I figure it probably won't hurt us too much to make some wood floors. And then I'll probably try to get worked up over some wood walls. And that'll give us enough materials to expand our house out a little bit because... Unfortunately, for right now, we can't build anything right there. Well, then the expansion will have to happen in a different direction. That or we can make like a secondary house for ourselves, I guess. But... We're out of space here. We's out of space. So there's our walls, there's our floors. We'll start playing around with the... Floors before we play around with the walls. Can I get my fertile dirt back? I wonder if I can get my fertile dirt back. I hope I can. There we go. A bit more wood for the wood throne. What's that right there? A potted kibweed. Okay. I don't think we've played around with kibweed too much yet. Can I get my fertile dirt back? Oh, I can. That's nice. That fills me with joy. Okay. So I'm going to move the patch over a little bit. And then once it's been moved, we'll just, we're out of wood right now, so I'll probably just plant another row of wood. And that should work out okay. I hope. Yeah, that should be good. One right there. I kind of feel like I get like a Picasso thing going on. I'm not trying to say that I have the skills of Picasso when I build my house. But I get into like a builder's mode and it becomes very difficult for me to think because my brain is bouncing all over being like we should put that over there and that over there and that over there. I get all excited. Get all excited. I'll probably start moving the crafting machines around a bit. This will be the expansion over here. So let's take the walls that we currently have or the floors that we currently have. And I'm just gonna, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. And I suppose we do something a little bit different with it. We take it out to here, and it looks like the floor can totally go over water, which is really, really sweet. And we'll just have the complex expand out a little bit, and that worked perfectly, actually. I like that a lot. That'll work for right now. And then what I'll do is we'll put in walls like so. We'll leave ourselves with a little bit of space on that side. We'll put a door right there. And then we'll bring this around like so. And you know, it's not the nicest house. I think we could live in a nicer house. But it gave us a little bit of extra space, which is all we actually truly needed right now. And so if I wanted to do... I'm going to do a woodworking and a stoneworking room inside of here. I'll keep this as like the main common area. But I'd like to keep this area... I mean, we need more lamps and stuff too. I don't know how we make our base glow a little bit better, but I'd like to have some light sources. And then what we'll do once I've actually got this expanded out a little bit further is we'll knock that wall out right there and we'll fill in this space with another little expansion room. I'm happy with what we got going on though. So let's put the woodworking table right there next to the wall. I don't want it to ever feel like it's too far away from wood because that's its only function. It loves sawing shit. And so just having wood with an eyesight makes the table feel better. And then we'll put the little stone worker over here too. And then this room will be pretty much completed. 
I like it. I don't know if this counts as a complete home, but it looks a lot nicer with the wood floors. I've always been a sucker for plank wood floors. I like the way they look. Over here, a level 5 helm, like a helmet, but with more pizzazz. Oh, it's a chest plate. I thought that was like a battle thong. Alright, that makes sense. Cool, cool. What do we need for the hammer? A level 3 weapon, a high-tech hammer crafted from the finest of flat stones, used for pounding things with style. We've got a glutterfly incubator, but we got to get a glutterfly egg first. We can also do a potted sunshroom, and we can do potted kibweeds. Let's do... We'll do the helmet first, and then when the helmet's done, we'll go back out and search a stone. But I, I definitely want to upgrade my gear before we go up against any bosses or anything like that. It looks like a hunk of meat that I'm going to hit something with. Some of these are clearly new tiers of weaponry and just extra stuff you can build inside your house. It looks like we're going to get some kind of distillery or... I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of stuff left in the game. So we've got electrical resist. That one's got a freeze chance on it. But we've got to get rid of our womp hat. Which basically is almost better in all ways aside from the extra health that it gives us. We'll get electric resist though. Man, I was hoping we get a better helmet out. It's not the best helmet. Oh, it looks so badass though. It looks so much cooler than what we had on before. We look all futuristic and troned out now. That makes me happy. Okay, so now what should we do? I, I want to make all the gear. Like I want. I like what this has got going on. It's kind of kind of like a geologist shinobi thing going on. And that speaks to me for personal reasons. And also, I tried to friend zone those reasons, but they just keep coming back. I I'm gonna have to come up with a way to deal with it, I'm not sure. Gonna have to have a real serious sit down with my reasons, but... I know for a fact I want to craft some more gear, so maybe we'll go back out to Gorda's fishing hole? Eh... Maybe not. Maybe we'll go back out, so Square Lake is over there. Actually, that works out okay. We'll just travel south from here, and maybe that'll get us to where we need to go before we start filming the next episode. We're not quite done with this one yet, so don't panic. I'm not about to leave just yet. I do wish I could destroy some of these buildings, though. I really wish I could destroy some of these buildings. Like, take some of the stone back with me, or some of these little lamps. Our house is too dark at the moment. I like being there because I get scared in the dark. I'm a grown adult man that does not like dark places. They make me worry. There's something creeping out there. I can hear it with its dirty clicking noises and mandibles. Just just mandibalizing. I don't know if I want to... Eh, let's line us up for the next quest. I don't know if we're going to do the next quest right now. So I'm trying to keep these to like little 25 minute bursts. However... Ooh. I think now we freeze stuff too. Which is pretty sweet because it means we have the power of electricity and the power of frost. Both of which are pretty badass. I mean, if I had to choose my magic powers, those would probably be the two that I'd go for. I like those bombs. Those bombs are pretty swell. Ooh, and they crit too. Got that one. Go ahead and stun you and see how much damage I can get off here. Quite a bit would be the answer to that question. You kind of want to lead them off. If you can get to the place where they're going to go after they charge, Gives you a better chance to DPS, but sometimes they do long charges, and sometimes they do little ones. I don't know what the difference is. There we go. Eliminated another Glidopus. We actually need to mess around with these little Flutterfly, Glutterfly things, too, so that we can get their egg. I want to collect all the pets while we're on the planet. It seems like that'd be pretty useful. I don't know if the pets unlock as you get the stations. Like, you can't get the egg before you have the station, or what's going on there. I actually don't tend to kill these very often, so that might also be the other problem, is I tend to avoid them. Even though they're one of the easier of all the mobs you'll be killing in the game. Oh my god, what just happened? What just happened? Things are occurring. Well then, I'm going to go investigate. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Crashlands. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.